Hi, guess what I found, another bag. If you have watched my recent video on my situation with my Pichette Matisse from Louis Vuitton, um, I happened to be at the store and was looking at the new things and so forth and trying on a few bags. Well, this next bag caught my eye enough for me to go back and think, okay, do I really wanna give that a try or not? So I decided I did. It seems to be something that's very much up my alley. Um, and I think I'm really going to like it. So anyway, it arrived. I'm glad I ordered it online and it arrived and I am looking at it for the first time and trying it out. And I thought I would grab my camera and do this with you. So let's talk about the new Louis Vuitton Lock and Walk. First of all, a few items about the bag that I want to discuss. Uh, the bag comes in three different colors. I got the cognac and it has the gold tone hardware. There's also a black in the gold tone hardware. And they do have one for $120 more in a color that's kind of a bone type of a, a tone. It is called quartz and it's a little bit different. It is $120 more. I believe it is because they have enameling on the LV in front of the bag, whereas the others are just the gold tone hardware um, for the LV, not enamel. So I believe that is the difference, but they're all the same size. The dimensions of the bag are 7.9 by 8.1 by 4.7 inches. We'll go over more of that when I have the bag in front of me at the table. I uh, just wanna give you the general rundown on what's going on. It is a calfskin leather. It is delicious. It's kind of a pebbled kind of a calfskin leather. It has a wonderful pocket on the front. So let's just get to the table. Let's just get to the bag and let's get in there and see what fits and all that good stuff. So as I mentioned, I ordered mine online. It came in the beautiful magnetic box with the red ribbon, the gift tag in case it was a Valentine's gift, <laughs> um, the receipt, all the good stuff. So lovely. Also came with a dust bag, of course, that's, imp that's important. Um, here is the bag. I do have some modeling shots to show you. So here is this beautiful, beautiful bag. Love this bag in person, even more than online. It's a pebbled calfskin leather, the gorgeous gold tone hardware. I still have the protective plastic on it, the little bits. Love the chain. I love that it can be plopped inside if you want to just sort of, you know, make it a little bit more casual, or it is removable also. You could definitely remove it, but if you just sort of if it's in the way at the moment or something, you can easily plop that inside, which is really, really nice. Both chains, or both straps are removable. The leather strap, I adore. I love this mechanism. At the longest length, it works perfectly as a crossbody for me. I absolutely love it. The strap drop is 20 and a half inches. At the shorter, it is 13 inches. Just unsnap it here. And slide. And then it snaps here. Slide. And snap. It also has a D ring here, so you could put a charm or um, any kind of a pouch or anything that you can want to clip to it, you could clip to it right there. So I do love all those strap and carrying options. But first of all, does a phone fit? Let's see what mine does. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it's one of the big ones. And I also have a large-ish case on it, one of the flaunt cases. And open it up. Plop it in there, fits perfectly. No struggles, no finagling, you know, nothing. So that's beautiful. Love it. The 
This bag closes with the two magnetic bits on each end here. Nice little magnetic closure, but the rest, like a bucket, is open. Some people like that, some people don't. I personally almost never zip a bag. I just leave it open all the time, so this is perfect for me. We have one flat interior pocket and a beautiful interior. I've been using my Samir BB a lot lately. I love this bag and I don't have much in it, but let's see what I have and let's put it in here and see the difference. Well, as you can see, first off, there's a definite difference in size, but let's start here. First, I have my mini pochette. It's just got you know, keys, stuff, the products, those things. Let's put that right inside. And the other thing I have in here is my Empreinte key pouch. I love this so much. You can only get it pre-loved. If you find one, grab it. If it's in fantastic condition, especially. But this thing is worth its weight in gold. I use it as my wallet. It's amazing. So that is going to plop right in there. So those are the only items I have in my Samir. Normally I have sunglasses plopped on top, but I must have taken those out for something. As you can see, there's just still a ton of space. Let's see what else we can get in there. Okay, let's add my sunglasses case. Let's add an average size paperback book. Beautiful. So I have my wallet, my pouch, my sunglasses case, and a paperback book. Nice. Instead of the little mini key pouch wallet, let's add a larger, like a, it's a little bit larger, as you can see, a compact but nice size wallet. Perfect. Let's see about a Sarah or any type of a larger full size wallet, like the Zippy. Perfect. No struggles whatsoever, just goes right in. A little small agenda would fit in there beautifully also. Still space on top. Very, very nice. Now I wanna see if a 19 pouch, size 19 fits. In case you wanted something larger than a mini pochette. Many of you have the 19, it's kind of that perfect size. So let's see if that would go in there. Perfect. So this could actually act as your, like keep it open. It could be like a protectant. If you want to, you know, to protect the interior, you just plop things in there. You could have your wallet go in there, your keys, whatever, just as kind of it protects the interior if you wanted to, or it could be your pouch for all your catch all things. There's still room for stuff. Okay. Let's have the 19 in there plus a full size wallet plus a paperback book that works and you can even stick your sunglasses on top and it'll even snap So I think I'm loving this bag even more than I thought I would after seeing what all fits and how easy it is to just kind of do different things with it and make the strap shorter, longer, fancier, all that kind of thing. Um, really, really enjoying the idea of this bag. I love it. I love this color. I think it's just kind of a perfect neutral. Can't say enough about it. So I'll be giving this beauty a try. I'll let you know what I think of it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them for you as best as I can. Thank you guys for joining me on this. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Talk to you later. Bye.